we need liver and we prefer, you know, an actual an actual liver, not a you know mm-hmm. bunch of shredded up, you know, yeah. Um, or especially brain is where it's actually really a big issue. Mm-hmm. Hemispheres need to be intact. It's a it's a it's a big deal with um with with neural tissue and the progenitors because those are particularly fragile. Um, if you've got that in the back of your mind, if you're aware of that, technically, how much how much um, you know how much of a difference can that actually make if you if you know what kind of what's expected or what we need versus it makes, it makes a huge difference I, I'd say a lot a lot of people want liver mm-hmm. and for that reason most providers will do this case under ultrasound guidance mm-hmm. so they'll know where they're putting their forceps kind of re-limiting step of the procedure is calvarium calvarium the head is basically the biggest part most of the other stuff can come out intact right very rare to have a patient that doesn't have enough dilation to evacuate all the other to bring the so, to bring the body cavity out exactly. intact and all that um, so then you just kind of pop this in of where you put your grass bears. Um, you try to intentionally go above and below the thorax so that you know we've been very good at getting cars long liver mm-hmm. because we know that so I'm not going to crush that part I'm going to basically crush below I'm going to crush above and I'm going to see if I can get out intact and with the calvarium in general some people will actually try to change the uh, presentation so that's not a vertex because when it's a vertex presentation you never have enough dilation in the beginning unless you have a real huge amount of dilation to deliver an intact calvarium so if you do it starting from the breach presentation there's dilation that happens as the case goes on and often in the last you can evacuate the intact calvarium mm-hmm. so i mean there are certainly steps that can be taken so they can to convert to, to breach for example exactly. at the start of the exactly under ultrasound guidance, they can just change the, the presentation. Okay. Um, so, you know, the preparation and everything will be exactly the same as everybody right. else. It's just the order of right. the removal right. of the right. product that is different. And, and right. most people see that it's not Yeah. Different. No, because well, I mean, we're not talking about, like, it needs to be a hysterotomy and like something like crazy like that Thank in order to, you know, the, I was thinking there, you know, there was probably an easier solution to this, um, to this problem. Yeah. Um, and, and we've been pretty successful with that. Yeah. I'd say. What, so yesterday was a clinic day. So what, for example, like what did you procure? <laughs> you know, I, I asked her at the beginning of the day what she wanted. Yesterday she went, she's been at, a lot of people want intact hearts these days because they're looking for specific nodes, A, B nodes, S, A. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted lungs. I, uh-huh. Um, and then, she, but like I said, always as many intact livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. Some people want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's simple. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it. I guess they want muscle. But yeah, a dime a dozen. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, I think it's good to have a... Re- so this is, this is kind of another consideration to make, is when you do partner with a clinic, mm-hmm. you're probably partnering with the manager or the owner or the mm-hmm. director. You're not so much having a relationship with the providers, mm-hmm. but I think it helps to have a relationship with the right. provider because even well, if you do, you can have this conversation with exactly. them. Exactly. You can say, this is what my, you know, this is what we're looking for today. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're more apt to, you know, yeah, I get in the back of their mind. Absolutely. I, of course I want to help. I'd rather this actually be used for something. So right. I think just as much as the patients, the providers absolutely right. want to help. Exactly. And so, and if it's something as simple as just converting to, you know, to, um, Converting the presentation that doesn't require a separate consent. It's not a. Does that does that does, is that does that take make the procedure take much longer? Like is that another step for the provider? Or? It's just what what you grab first. No, it doesn't really. It doesn't take. It doesn't make anything any different. Um, the other consideration I think you guys need to make is who does training. Right. Because when they do training, so then you're basically guaranteed that they'll not get anything. I'll just oh, oh, you mean when it's a when it's a yeah. provider when who's doing training? When there's a trainee who's basically doing the procedure comes out of the valve, they're just right. you're not going to get anything intact. So, right. you know, what we did for a while, and I think it worked pretty well, is if there was a trainee, I would just basically say, any research case, I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And as you get better, I'll let you do more of those cases, but we really need to try to do this. Yeah. Time, so. Yeah. 